This is a dragon fruit. Most people in the U.S. haven't probably seen it uh, much. If they have, it's going to be red most often. Uh, yellow ones are kind of hard to find here. And oddly enough, most people think they come from Southeast Asia. They actually come from, or they're native to South America. Now they're pretty well widely grown in Asia, uh, in Southeast Asia, because it's more tropical there. But these are actually from a cactus. So it's from a, a climbing cactus, they call it. It's three different types. We have the yellow, and then they have um, red, red skinned. They have two different types of red skin dragon fruit. One is red flesh. They call that Pitaya Blanc uh, Roja. And then they have a white fleshed red skin one, which is Pitaya Blanca. And this one is just um, a little different here, but I'll show you. I'll open it up. You can do it a, a few different ways. Lots of seeds inside. You can see here um, a good amount of seeds. You can eat it. It almost tastes a little bit like a kiwi has a similar texture you can scoop it out with a spoon like that and just kind of eat it some people do that with a kiwi as well easier way I just cut it into wedges and then it pops right out you can eat the the seeds they're good it's pretty good pretty good fruit um, a little bland but I still I enjoy it I like to put it in smoothies Kind of grind up the seeds. I don't enjoy that texture too much with all the seeds in there, but they're really edible, really delicious. Check it out. 